The South Division III champion Hopkinton Hillers took on the North Division III champion Lowell at the Songus Arena in Lowell in the Division III state semifinals Wednesday, March 13th. And the first period was an absolute scoring fest. Simos along the near side boards up with Matt Aslan. And now Walsh with a shot and a goal! Just like that, one nothing Ehlers. What a beauty of a shot there by Walsh. What a great play by Walsh. He came back, Steve Simos went down to pinch. Uh, Walsh came back to cover, picked the puck up, walked into the middle and nobody challenged him. He walked right in with a beautiful wrist shot. It goes, Rogers closing in. Rogers with a steal there and another goal. Rogers with a beauty of a feed to Hamlet. Two nothing Hillers. And there's that team speed, Tom. Uh, just a great play by Rogers getting down. He forced a defenseman to make that turnover and Hamlet going right to the net. Thomas set it up. Now the Hiller's going to try to work back up the ice. Pass up to Rogers from Simos. Now here comes Walsh. Walsh with a breakaway opportunity here, racing in the shot. Go! Count it! Three nothing Hillers. It's the Sean Walsh show. Get up along the boards. Pass up to the blue line. There's a shot turned away by Thomas. That puck still loose. Line able to keep it away, and it's still in front. Now it's going to go in. That was off the stick of Andrew. Well, Thomas had some great saves there, and just that last one just trickled out enough for Lowell to take advantage of that. Here comes Hassett. Hassett racing up the far side for Lowell. Breakaway shot, and it's turned away by Thomas, but then the secondary shot is knocked in, and just like that, it's 3-2. to two. Owen Goulet with the goal. 9-0-1 left to go. It's a hockey game. Simo speeds that up the ice. And now it's taken away by Sean Walsh. Walsh racing in. Leaves it out in front, and a goal by Hamlet! What a response by the Hellers! Walsh to Hamlet at 8.49 left to go! Again, just a great key face-off win by Walsh to start it, and a beautiful passing play with Hamlet. Kirk, and now Lowell has a breakaway, a three-on-one coming up the ice. There's a shot, and a goal! Thomas Hassett makes it 4-3. to 4-3, to three, Hillers lead. 6.30 left to go, and yes, the first period. Walsh on a breakaway, the shot, go! Sean Walsh already with a hat trick, and we're in the first period. Just unbelievable. The, the Hillers just making the use of the, uh, the outside lanes there and the speed to be able to make that puck and, and play that right down the sideboards, and Walsh with a beautiful shot top corner. That goal comes with 6.25 left in the first period. Hamlet getting in there, up behind the net, tied up with Hassett. Trying to sneak it out. Rogers racing in, Hassett just able to get it away. Now Walsh with possession. There's a shot out in front. Hamlet, and now Rogers with the flip. And Rogers on the secondary shot, and that's in! Go, Hillers! Hillers just taking advantage of that open ice in the slot there, just battling for pucks and being open, and just staying right on top. Great play by Rogers. Kyle Rogers sticking with it, getting a couple shots off. And he puts one in off the deflection. Six to three, Hillers. 34.8 seconds left. And yes, the first period. Six to three, heading into the second period. And the offense slowed down considerably. The only goal in the second period came with just under a minute left from Will Quinlan. Not a little wide by Hamlet. Hamlet put that one off the side of the net. Now Hamlet trying to leave it in the slot. Kirk trying to turn it around. And he'll leave it for Quinlan and it's in! Dan Kirk on the assist, Will Quinlan on the goal. And the Hellers have broken through just under a minute left to go in the second period. 7-3, Hopkinton. That play all started with Kirk. Kirk was uh, alone by himself in the corner, used the boards, got around two defenders, came out front and was able to control that puck, get a shot off, and then they got the rebound back out front. In the third period, Quinlan added another goal. Champion Long Meadow, four to three in a shootout. Miller's the South champion up against Lowell, the North champion right now. Here we go, wide open break, an empty net. Quinlan for the win, 8-3 Hillers. The Hillers take the game eight to three and advance on to the state championship. Sunday, March 17th, 11 a.m. at the TD Garden in Boston versus central champion Wachusett. Tom Nappy here with Sean Walsh 
Sean, congratulations. How does it feel to be heading to the state championship? Uh, it's very exciting. We talked as a team. Just have heart and dedication, and uh, the hard work has really paid off the past few weeks, so we're excited. What's it been like playing with this group throughout the season? You guys seem to have amazing chemistry out there. Uh, it's phenomenal. We have very good chemistry. We know where each other are. We talk on the bench, on the ice, and just communication is key with us. So. And the beginning of this game was crazy. Nine goals in the first period combined. It was 6-3, to three, you guys leading after the first. How would you feel after that first period? And I guess what were some of the changes that were made to kind of settle the game down a little bit? Uh, after the first, you know, we, we knew, like, what we were capable of. And I guess the second period we noticed we had to play more defensively because we knew we had the lead, so we just wanted to kind of kill time a little bit and focus on D first. And what was the experience like playing at this beautiful Songus Arena today? Uh, it was phenomenal. It's a great rink, great arena, and uh, the ice is perfect. Well, congratulations, and we'll see you at the TD Garden. Yes, thank you. Tom Nappy here with Coach McPherson. Coach, you guys are heading to the state championship. How does that feel, first uh, state championship in Hiller's history? Feels fantastic. You know, just um, trying, trying to soak it all in right now, trying to process it all. It was, uh, Quite an up and down hockey game that uh, finally settled down the second and third period there. That was a crazy first period, obviously, you know, nine goals. And, uh, but it was nice that, you know, we settled down after we got, got the jitters out that first period and got back to our, you know, strong defensive play and goaltending um, to, you know, to seal that win there. And uh, this team seems to just have great chemistry and they just seem to get, they have gotten better every playoff game you guys play. Uh, what's it been like to coach this group? Uh, it's been the most amazing experience I've ever had coaching a group because. They just believe in each other so much and care about each other so much, genuinely care about each other, you know, as humans and people and, uh, and friends that it's just awesome coming to the, to the rink every single day to, to be part of it with them and just watch them, like you said, grow from game to game to game to game and you know, the confidence that they're playing with right now as well as, you know, the structure they're showing in their play is, just, as a coach, we just kind of sit back and watch it. Go play, boys. <laughs> Well, Coach, uh, we're certainly looking forward to the TD Garden on Sunday. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for uh, you know, following us all year and you know, watching all those playoff games you guys taped and everything. Good work. You're a great announcer, Tommy. You're a great announcer. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Happy here with Dan Kirk. Dan, a tremendous game out there. It was craziness in the first period, 6-3 to three after that first period. But the game settled down a little bit. Uh, what would you say uh, changed after that first period to settle the game down a little bit? Well, I think we came into the locker room, and we knew we were playing well on offense, obviously. We just had six goals, but we really knew that we had to tighten up defensively. And then we kind of stuck to our systems well in the second and third period, and it showed on the scoreboard. And Dan, you were certainly a big contributor in this game, as well as throughout the season. Uh, what's it been like playing with this group this year? It's just a great group of guys. You know, as much talent as we have, I think we do have the it factor that is capable of winning a state championship, and it's really that's showing as well. And how'd you like playing at the Songus Arena today? It's pretty nice, but I think the garden's going to be a lot better. Well, congratulations, and we're certainly looking forward to Sunday. Oh, yeah, me too. Here with Kyle Rogers. Kyle, you had a uh, tremendous game out there. Thanks. What's this whole experience been like getting to this level in the playoffs and playing with this group this year? Uh, it's been awesome. As a team, we faced a lot of adversity, but, you know, we persevered through it. And, you know, this locker room, we have the best leader in the, in the league and Steve. So, you know, he really pumps us up for everything. And, you know, it's just been an awesome feeling. And, Hope to keep it going to the Sunday at the Garden. And how was the experience tonight playing at the Songus Arena? Uh, it was awesome. Big crowd, both teams. It was just an amazing environment. And uh, the, the ice space a little bit bigger than yeah. you guys uh, typically play on. Do you think that made a difference at all? Yeah, I think we were able to use, utilize our speed a lot more than we're usually able to. You know, we're one of the faster teams in Massachusetts, so you know, it's pretty good for us. Well, congratulations, and we're thank certainly you. looking forward yeah. towards Sunday. All right, thank you.